as a long-time VTuber fan and a student who's doing research on digital performance. One month ago, as my urges of having an original VTuber model of my own grow in day by day, despite the fact that I knew very little about streaming, let alone virtual streaming, so I started looking for related information. I surprisingly came across the thing called free VTuber models. Being free doesn't mean poor quality. The creators might release the model to show their capabilities. The models can be used freely, but normally can't be used for commercial purposes and original character designs. Seeing these beautiful animated characters, while I'm really impressed by the creativity, details, and quality of some of them, I'm more and more intrigued by the idea of actually using those models, which means to say random things behind them while getting my face captured and voice recorded. Perform as a VTuber, you might say. That's why I want to make this video. And before making it, I had three expectations or questions waiting to be answered. First, the stream setup. All I knew before was how to record my screen with OBS, but now I need to make the models move first with the right software, then put them safely in OBS. After that, I need to capture my facial movements and voice as clear as possible. There might also be problems with the stream and video layout. The position of the model versus the game screen is one thing to consider. The volume of my voice and the game audio also need to be carefully balanced. Some of these actually belongs to the second part of the question, which is the unknown things that I wasn't able to realize for always only being the perspective and position of an audience. Things I only find out after getting my hands on the things. The third one, also the most important one. If you watched my content before, you will know as a firm believer of the integrity of the virtual character constructed by the VTuber model and the performer's soul. I do wonder. Will a better understanding on the backstage work change my perception on the VTubers in any ways? And by using the model, lending part of me to her, I'm indeed curious. Would I also be able to become a virtual character, even just temporarily? Now let's start the adventure. I chose the VTuber software called PRPR Live, which is free and easy to use for beginners. After spending one hour in tutorials. I finally got the models moving in OBS. I also found some interesting things you can adjust, like the background color, color filter, and the transparency of the model. Yeah, it's looking weird and cool at the same time. Now I know all the VTubers have a ghost version. One of the interesting things here, besides the models, is seeing my own face and expressions turned into data. My mouth is moving, but it does not respond. Why, boy? Flesh and blood become lines consisted of dots of different colors, and the two red things. Are you telling me those are my eyes? Talking to myself while facing this digital mirror is such a weird and new experience. It's ugly looking, but interesting for sure. I'm hoping one day everyone could use 3D mocap software at home with all kinds of models available, and I do wish to see how my body performs when captured in 3D one day. After the step of basic setup, time to try out the models. The ones I chose are smooth in movements and expressions. They even have special expressions like anger. Ooh, ooh you're mad, boy. Yandele looking, tundele looking, love and love while hating. Yeah, bye now. Now everything's ready. So, what do people usually do for streaming? Gaming, of course. I remember a long, long time ago. I was a devoted Hollow Myth fan. Kiara was still living in Japan when Kelly heard Kiara's only using one monitor to stream. She's quite surprised and says she can't imagine streaming with only one monitor. I didn't get that before until I started to make this video and tried everything with only one monitor. When I got so many windows opened, some are capturing the others so they look quite the same. Some I don't know the exact function, but don't dare to close. Once I started gaming, I have no idea how the model looks like when I enter the game. Sometimes the model's too big or too small, or the color's too close to the game's theme color, or it covers too much info of the game. I have zero idea about that. Until thirty minutes later, maybe I checked the footage I just recorded. Ha!、Huh, surprise. And not mentioning, I don't have live chat to follow and actual stream setup to deal with like a real streamer. Pain and suffer. That's all I can remember. 
Worse than that, when I try to have some fun in the game while leaving the model active, like burn the snow and try to make some explosions in the mountain, the model then started to move like one frame per second, probably because the snow is too beautiful for my device to handle. More than that, I really wasn't expecting so many problems with audio alone. When I gather video material for this video, I got the game and model ready. Then I started talking and recording for around 30 minutes. I thought that's quite enough. But when I checked the video I just recorded, I then found out the game audio overwhelms mine completely. And the game I was playing is not something chill like Animal Crossing or the one allows you to fight elegantly like Breath of the Wild. All I heard in the video was the loudest gunshot I've ever heard and the sound of bounty hunters threatening or dying. That's one thing. I also came across double audio in one of the recordings. My voice started to have very heavy echo. Ooh. Ooh. It, it. Even the most narcissistic people wouldn't do that to their own voices. There might also be the case where the game audio is not captured at all. It's probably because my Bluetooth earphones not connected. All the issues with audio I mentioned, I experienced them one by one. That's probably the reason I choose to present this video in this way, rather than staying behind the models and talk like a real VTuber. I just cannot stand going with the same process over and over again. So uh, I might just do it in the most familiar way. Please forgive me. To answer my question, did my thoughts on the VTuber change after knowing more about the model? I think the answer is closer to no than yes, which means something has changed, but nothing fundamental. I'm more familiar to the whole process than I knew I would, probably because I know this VTuber thing for too long. And the convenient thing here is after you got the settings right, you don't have to bother for the second time. Therefore, despite the troubles and confusions I went through at the beginning, talking behind a VTuber model is actually far easier and smoother than talking in front of the camera. I don't need to shower first, choose the proper clothes to wear, clean my room a little bit, set the camera and the lighting. Sometimes I will even brush my teeth if I don't feel like I'm, I can talk well. Then do some basic makeup and confront the camera as who I am. It's so hard to always look decent and ready, but that's what VTuber models have always look like. That made me want an original VTuber model of my own even more. I have shown you my pleasure and pain in this exploration, and the questions I raised are mostly answered. Only the one last part, and the one I was most eager to find out. Did I become the virtual character when using the model? The answer's no. I don't feel that special. Although I was seriously amazed at the very first second seeing the model started to move as I'm moving, but I soon realized the movements are a bit laggy. Predictable. It doesn't take long for one to figure out all sorts of expression the model can make and how to trigger them. The whole experience is alienated for me. Though it is out of my expectation, but honestly speaking, I don't think there's even a second I could really consider myself being the character and talking through the model. Probably because I did zero role playing, and there's no audience I need to convince myself for I need to perform to. It's just me having fun. So it's about me filling these models rather than becoming them. It's very likely the result is heavily influenced by some other factors though. For one, because both the model and software I'm using are hardly the cutting edge. In fact, I got access to them legally for free. In a new user's hands, they already performed quite well, so no complaints about that. But still, after seeing the staggering 2D and the incredible 3D virtual streamers, best in the industry. I have to admit, it's hard for me to be convinced by the model that I can't even handle well, and I'm not that good of a performer myself. For two, the models are not built for me. I pick them up simply because among all the free life 2D VTuber models, they are the most carefully rigged, most beautiful looking ones. Other than that, no background story, no customization, no names even. They don't have a story arc or a character narrative so that they can be shared openly and used by anyone in any circumstances. And no one except the creator is allowed to give them the name, memory, or the inner growth of the character of any kind. They exist only as open access virtual models. They are what this video is all about, but actually has nothing to do with it, because I can replace them with any other models. 
and in the end, they have no relation to me, other than copying my movements with half second of delay. Some afterthoughts. I've seen sophisticated streamers that always know to keep their mouths shut at sensitive topics. I've also seen streamers keep testing the line that they should maybe keep away from. There are streamers who have real contents to show and treat their audience like friends, so even watching them without a model is a pleasant and familiar experience. But there are also streamers who got tortured enough by the audience. Some conquer the situation and achieve new milestones. Some can't get away with it and give up on roleplaying eventually. Overall. I still believe the VTuber thing is a beautiful creation, if in right hands and performing to the right people. That's my time spent with those beautiful models. I'll put the link to them and the artist in the video description. I hope you liked this video. If you like my content, you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Ko-Fi to help me get a VTuber model of my own. Link in the description. I'll see you in the next video.